Subsistence is something that's really important to the identity of Alaska. I know that a lot of people in Alaska rely on subsistence foods. I like, and I like it better if, I, if I'm feeding myself, if I'm going out and catching things. Like I catch most of my fish that I eat all winter using sport fishing gear, but I'm subsistence. I'm, I'm doing it to live. You know, I eat everything I catch. And it's, it's one that's shared by most people in Alaska. Right, it's more than just the food. It's everything. I, I mean, I think that depending on how things are managed, sometimes there's an abundance of subsistence resources, and sometimes it's more difficult. Yeah, think. sometimes the money's really good. I like that part. The part I don't like is when there's no fish and there's no money. I saw quite a bit of subsistence in crowd. I also watch people hunt from the beach. It's like watching they hunt seals in the triplet. And the seals would float up on the beach after they shot them. People catch fish at the mouth there quite often. They see them go, learn, go out in the motorboat and they do beach chains and watch them drag all the fish up and they throw the ones, they, the steel head back in and keep all the reds. Things are managed with subsistence as being priority. And so sometimes that's really controversial because commercial fishermen or sports fishermen want to have priority for a certain subsistence activities. You know, it's hard to define what's subsistence fishing, what's sport fishing, you know. Years, it's a lot of people, it's been di more difficult for them to get halibut, subsistence halibut. Allutic fishing has been changing through time. Early on, mostly they used a lot of um, deep sea fishing for cod and halibut was more important. And then through time, salmon becomes more important. Early on, people, when they fished for salmon, used spears. I, didn't, I don't think it was the focus of their economy. They were more interested in sea mammals and cod, but they'd go up the rivers and they just spear fish in the shallowest areas. Then later in time, they started to use nets, which would have, um, these are the nets, it was sort of the lead line, the bottom of a net. Um, and you started to see these gulus in sites too. And this is when they were starting to do a little bit more focus on salmon. And they'd use the nets in shallow water to catch the fish. And then they'd smoke them and process, cut them up through the leaves and process them. And you start to see a shift towards weirs and using spears again. Catch tons and tons of fish, but behind a weir. And that's when you start to see, like if you look at the Carlick River, you start to see sites not on the lake anymore, but in the mid sections of the river. Subsistence fishing is interesting because it's really cool to learn how people survived without computers and modern technology. The technology was effective and innovative. Today, sustainability is a huge issue with overharvesting, ocean acidification, and climate change. But subsistence fishing is sustainable without the depletion of commercial fisheries.